What's going on, guys? And Chelsea, the Blues, they batter Barrow in the third round of the EFL Cup. And it was basic, wasn't it? Just what you really wanted to see. Confident, calm, collective performance from the lads, from the B team that go out there and batter Barrow. And yeah, no problems really. All looked good. But I thought Barrow started quite well, actually. It came out the blocks flying, caused some problems with some throw-ins, but overall we defended well. Kept our shape. Um, I've got to say, I like the lineup. Nice to see Gusto back in the lineup. We had Jorgensen in goal, who I thought did quite well. Made some saves. De Sassi and Badia Shill, centre backs, did okay. Um, Vega at left back looked good. Um, Dewsbury Hall and, Cla and Cassidy were okay in the midfield. I thought more in the second half they started losing the ball, even though we were like 4 0 up. But yeah, you can't be doing that against better teams, mate. You will get punished. This was only Barrow. Lucky they couldn't punish us. Then the quality just wasn't there. Um, so, yeah. The goals, though. The goals. The first one. Jao Felix, just stop it, mate. Stop it. What? Oh, my. He had four players around him. He just chips it over all of them into Nkunku. And Nkunku just takes it in his stride and just taps it in the net. 1-0. Easy as you like. And the second goal is just as... Just as class, really, from Nkunku. And it's nice to see, like I said, Malo Gusto is back in the team. Playing at right back, getting those crosses into the box. That's what we want to see. Him bombing down that right-hand side and just, yeah, linking up with the right winger. And like he did there, great bit of play from Pedro Neto to find him. And then he crosses the ball in, finds Nkunku. A lovely little hit back heel straight into the net. It's 2-0. It's pretty much game set and match from there. And we get Jao Felix, who is quite unlucky, really, in my opinion. He is quite unlucky because that was a lovely free kick. It hits the post. It comes off the back of the keeper. Surely, surely you've got to give it to Jao. But no, it's own goal from the keeper. And there you go. Poor old Jao Felix doesn't get off the mark. But overall, yeah. A good first half. Um, a cruising. Game over. I'm going to the second half. And just... It, playing in first gear really Barrow just are not good enough and yeah job done really that's what you wanted you don't want to upset in this round you just want to get through easily calmly no no nerves no panic not doing what Leicester are doing tonight going to penalties against Walsall um, yeah we go through quite calmly it's all calm two more goals in the second half Mudrick does well there finds Neto Neto slots it into the back of the net quite easily for his first Chelsea goal. Calm as you like. And then the fifth goal, what is the keeper doing? Gets pressed by Nkunku, loses the ball, and Nkunku slots it in the back of the net for a, for his hat-trick. Deservedly played well tonight. Scored his goals, took his goals really well. Um, yes, it's only Barrow, but yeah, you've got to beat what's in front of you. And they did that tonight. The boys did their job. Went out there and did a job and did it well. Uh, we remember last season when we were struggling against teams like Wimbledon to beat them. So it was nice tonight. Just calmly just go out there, show your quality and just get the job done. Calm as you like. It, it was a good performance. I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed seeing the likes of Mano Gusto back. Even Ben Chilwell coming off the bench. I've got to say a lot of people ride Ben Chilwell. There is a player in there just... He's been hampered by injuries. If he can find his form again, I'm all for it. But he's got some going because we've got one of the best left-backs in the league, in my opinion, at the moment, in Mark Kukurea. And, yeah, he's got a lot of going to get back into the team, in my opinion. He didn't play well, really, when he came on. He didn't show a lot for me. Um, Cassidy in the midfield, like I said. I'm sorry, no. Um, yeah, just kept giving the ball away in the second half. You can't be doing that against better, quite a better teams, mate. You will get punished. Jewsbury Hall was okay. Um, Mudrick did okay, I thought, against against Barrow. But yeah, but yeah, the stars of the show, Jao Felix and Kunku, they were just amazing. Just absolutely amazing tonight. They just showed their class and their quality and just dispatched Barrow by themselves, pretty much. Um, with Pedro Neto chipping in for a goal, which gives him some confidence. Um, yeah, we're through to the next round. And I like how he's keeping one cup team and one league team and they're separate teams and they're, and it's look it looked like it's working at the moment and long may it continue. Giving those players like Cole Palmer, 
Jackson, Caicedo, Enzo, giving them a rest. They don't need to be playing in these games. We've got the, the squad depth there to be beating, dispatching teams like Barrow. And why not just continue in the EFL Cup with this team? What Jorgensen in goal, yeah, did all right. Kept a clean sheet, which is nice. Badly a shield to Sassy, all were good. Um, it was nice to see Josh Ashapong come on and Tyreek George, who should have scored, um, side-footed it part um, wide, should have put his laces through that, should have put his laces through that, he should have scored tonight. Uh, I thought Josh Ashapong looked good, came on it right back and... Yeah, okay, this, this is Barrow, yeah, he did well. And um, maybe see more of him in the future at right back, who knows, who knows... Uh, but yeah, it was nice to see those two young lads come on and get some minutes. Other than that, yeah, Carney Chukwameka came on the pitch and just sliced one into the into the Matthew Harding upper. Um, yeah, good performance overall. Five nil can run through, I suppose. Um, some ratings quickly. Jorgensen in goal. Made a couple of saves. So I'll give him a seven. Gusto, good to see him back. Good assist for um, Kunku's goal. Seven. Baddy Ashu and De Sassi. Yeah, they're, not, they're just not good enough, are they? They struggled against Barrow. Um, I'd give them sixes. Vega is new to the club. He's young. He'll get better. I'd give him a six. Cassidy five he's just not good enough I'm sorry he's not good enough I don't see it Dewsbury Hall um six did okay Pedro Neto got his goal seven Joe Felix was really good tonight should have should have got a goal should have been given to him I'll give him an eight um Mudrick seven got an assist I suppose and Kunku ten out of ten with his hat trick sort of like I said Chilwell came on Chakwameka came on um, George Achapong and Mark Gu who I just I don't rate at all to be honest with you he should have gone down he had his shirt pulled he should you, he's just not a smart striker by the looks of things it's happened I've seen it happen in, I think it was pre-season where he should have gone down it might have been in, against Savet I'm not sure um, but yeah he should have gone down tonight he, got, he would have got himself a penalty and he might have dispatched it and got himself a goal but he didn't that geezer had a handful of his shirt but never mind. Maybe he was offside. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I just don't rate the lad. I'm sorry. From what I've seen so far, I'm not seeing anything else. Tonight, I saw something in Josh Atchapong. I saw something in Tyreek George. Not a lot in Mark Gooey at the moment. I'm not seeing it at the moment. Didn't see it in pre-season. Not seeing it now. Um, Yeah. Colwell was an unused sub, Fernandez was an unused sub, and Washington was on the bench as well. Well, he ain't getting any game time. Has he not been loaned out? Anyway, let me know what you think down below. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. Up the chills. We've won again. We're through to the next round. See you next time.